Uh, but we can now go back to the story uh, about the Prince Andrew settlement and bring in our royal and showbiz reporter in L.A., Kinsey Schofield. Hello again, Kinsey. Good to see you. Um, look, let's get, first of all, your reaction to this settlement. I mean, as you say, 95 percent of these civil cases do end this way. But perhaps we weren't expecting it, given the rhetoric we were hearing from both parties. Right. It felt like Prince Andrew was really defiant at the get go. So I was extremely surprised to hear that he decided to settle this case. Um, and, you know, a few days ago, he was asking, his attorneys were asking to see the original photo of him with Virginia. They wanted to, to see if that was an authentic photo. And so it did feel like just, I would even say a few hours ago, they were still forging ahead and challenging these accusations. And, and Virginia Giffray, uh, just want to know how she emerges from this in the eyes of the uh, public in the, in the US. Um, Prince, Prince Andrew, um, if he's even recognised, do people know, do people care? But for Virginia Giffray, there's a whole cause involved here. Um, there's a charity connected to this settlement um, as well. Um, what's the next step for her, do you think? I mean, the Americans, this is just really in line with the Me Too movement that you say, you saw come out of America. Obviously, she has a lot of support here in the States. Um, you know, it's it had to have been humiliating and humbling to come out with with this these stories and she's got children that they're they're seeing our discussion on the news they're reading tweets and seeing some of the conversations about their mother on the internet so uh you know obviously this was a really brave thing for for her to do uh, but in regards to I, I meant to say this earlier in regards to the photograph that Prince Andrew was challenging. The Daily Mail is, is actually reporting that in 2015, there was an email exchange between Alan Dershowitz and Ghislaine Maxwell, where Alan asked if the photo was authentic. And within 11 minutes, Ghislaine responded that it appeared to be an authentic photo. And we're, we are being told that this email was going to come out and could have you know, humiliated Prince Andrew if he was going to continue to charge forward and try to defend himself in this case, to have an email like that come out where Ghislaine, who is, you know, prominently featured in the background of that photo, is saying, yeah, I think this is a, is a real photo. So aside from believing that, you know, the family wanted to nip this in the bud, as Isabel said, I also wonder if that email had anything to do with this quick turnaround and their change of heart been a major blow in any deposition or any court case the fact that you know one of the people featured in in the picture Ghislaine Maxwell uh, who, who apparently hosted the the event the party whatever it was the get together that uh, that particular evening she's saying seems real to me that's true I I, I can't imagine Prince Andrew getting his eyeballs on those email exchanges because he's also involved in that those emails inevitably down the line. He emails Ghislaine and says, I have a couple of questions about Virginia. And she says, I've got plenty of info. Give me a call. So it does feel like they're conspiring against her and that this has been on their radar for quite some time. Kinsey Schofield, thank you so much for your for your input into everything and giving us the U.S. perspective on things. We'll leave it there with the time approaching 20 past seven. Thank you very much.